I really want you to know how much I appreciate you because you have been a very sweet person who has stuck with me since the beginning of this year and I don't know the time you are watching this video but if it's later than December 2023 then I thank you also in advance. So in this video what we're actually going to do is I'm going to be teaching you how to create an appreciation post inside of Canva okay and this is actually beautiful you can use to appreciate whoever does any nice thing to you. So before we get into it just in case you haven't subscribed to this channel look this channel is all about Canva and other creative stuff so i highly recommend you subscribe to this channel and just in case you're on the free version of canva and looking for more free canva templates you know i've dropped the link in the description box below make sure to check it out after this video let's dive straight into the video Alright, so this is what we are going to be creating. The first thing I'll just do is to create a new page. The dimension I'm using is 1080 by 1350 and I realize some of you don't know how to set it. So this is all you need to do. Make sure you're coming to create a design and choose custom size. Okay, in here you should see that you can enter the width which is 1080. Okay, and this should be 1350. Okay, so 1350. Then just smash on create a new design. You should get this dimension. Okay, so the first thing we will do is to start with the background and with this we are simply going to use some simple simple things in there okay so make sure to come into element in element search for silk okay nice 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 so you search for silk add any of the silk photos of your choice right click set image as background so this is what we have at the moment now i would want to position it nicely and to do this all you have to do is to double click okay then you crop the image nicely okay nice so we would also want to change the color i just don't want it plain white like that so make sure to come to not color come to edit photo okay then make sure you are seeing the adjust click on it in the temperature okay you can increase it just to make it warm so something like this is fine then come to effect make sure you're searching for blur under effects okay now canva just upgraded the whole blur feature in here but what we need to do is come to whole image and the intensity you'd want to increase it to somewhere like 20 to 25 okay this should be fine i think nah uh -huh, okay i like it like 32 32 okay so after you do that click on back and you should have something like this the next thing we are going to do is to press r on our keyboard okay and increase the size to something like this all right and just in case you want to enter the dimensions manually make sure you're heading to position and you know the width and the height you know you can just enter it so what i'm using is 864 by 916 pixels okay yeah nice so we would come to border style hit on the line and the corner rounding now just increase it a little bit to something like this okay so this is what we have then i will change the color okay or the fill color i'm going to make it fe2f09 this is what i want to make it okay now i just increased it a little bit now the border color I will change it to white okay so i want it like this and this is looking beautiful the next thing you have to do is to use ctrl d to duplicate it okay and make sure you just place it right on top then press and hold alt while you click on you know the corner of the shape and increase it and decrease it okay rather not increase it rather decrease it okay then you know just to do what i'm doing nice one here all right then center because it doesn't okay it's centered but why doesn't it look centered in my eyes <laughs> uh, it's funny okay so we are going to change the color and i have this nice f e b c e you know color in here okay so we just change it to something like this and the next thing we are going to do is add some three dots in here so press c on your keyboard okay would you choose a size to so something small you know something small like that and change the color of this also to this okay then duplicate it oh i moved the wrong element okay to something like this and duplicate it again to something like that okay then select everything so make sure you're pressing and holding the shift key okay and click on all of them it should all be selected use ctrl d to select everything i don't know why my truth is very very dry <clears throat> and you know currently here in ghana the weather is a little bit dry you know getting to the end of the year to to the beginning of every new year the weather is very very dry and it's called hamatan just in case you haven't heard of it all right anyway yeah that's uh, you know some small lesson you get when you join this channel <laughs> so subscribe subscribe if you haven't all right so what we are simply going to do next is to press t on our keyboard to add our 
text and i'll just say appreciation okay so appreciation okay and i'll increase the size just in case you also see my mouse is moving in a weird way i actually got myself a new mouse and um, i upgraded to the logitech ms3 you know this mouse you see a lot of people using so i was able to upgrade to it and um, i'm still trying to get used to it so pardon me this is not a sponsored because no one is sponsoring this video so um you know just if you are looking to get a good mouse i love this mouse i don't know if i should make a video on it because this channel is not a tech channel whatsoever you know so then after you add the appreciation text what you need to do is to come to i never know how to call this whether it's the font anyway look i would make sure to <laughs> get the, the correct name. okay so we want to use a serif text okay so what you can simply do is to type serif okay and canva will just pull up a lot of serif type faces okay so that's it then you know something like this appreciation and i'll duplicate it and say message okay so message and we'll just leave it like this which is actually cool then we'll change the color also to make it very nice okay so i just don't like how the p is you know disturbing the m over here so i'll just make this all caps and you can also do that if you want to all right uh -huh, you're not forced to but it just makes everything better okay so appreciation message uh, you can just leave it somewhere here then you can duplicate this okay and make it smaller and to increase it and this is what will take the actual uh, message okay so in here i'm just going to keep it centered you know the alignment centered and i will copy and paste my message in here amazing so this is my message i would you know reduce it just like this and keep it here and we'll just select everything bring it down a little bit this is what we have then we want to put in the a name maybe then you know uh, maybe from you or something so let's say my yeah, not let's say my name is benjamin okay benjamin yeah, by now my name is all over the internet so let me just put it over here all right and we'll center it as well so yes this is what we have but we are not done yet the next thing we want to do is to come to element search for star okay and you should see this golden star but if you want other options just come to more and you see so many options but this is the one i love so select it can make the first one very big okay and position it here and you can rotate it you know just to make it very very nice okay then you can duplicate it and spread it around okay so now you just have to be creative with this part particular um part of the video okay just be creative in here so you can see what i'm actually doing then after you do that okay come back into element and search for light okay and we would want um, a golden light if possible so let's see okay so the, no i have moved the wrong thing okay so this light would work nicely so we can increase it and send it behind okay so you can come to layers right click come to layers and come to show layers okay you can send behind the star or maybe it should be behind all the stars in here then you can duplicate it okay put this also here reduce it okay and just drop it behind every star okay so you can see the beautiful effect it's actually it should come behind okay and duplicate it again come here increase the size and just drop it it should go behind and it gives it some nice vibe you know and all that so this is what we've actually been able to create and i hope you found it very easy to follow if you did please make sure to hit on the like button and if you still haven't subscribed kindly make sure to hit on the subscribe button as well the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video